Good evening, everyone. The topic of my presentation is novel binocular treatment approaches and in amblyopia. So this is the cyclopelagic refraction of a five-year-old student who had difficulty reading from board since six months. The BCV in right eye was found to be 66, and in the left eye was found to be 624. The anterior and posterior segment examination was found to be totally normal. So what is your diagnosis? This is a clear case of anisometropic amblyopia, which is defined as decrease in visual acuity in one eye or less frequently both eyes without any structural abnormalities. So how will you manage this case? Pedic suggested that refractive error correction to be the first line of treatment in case of anisometropic and strabismic amblyopia. If the patient doesn't improve with ref appropriate refractive correction, then we need to consider patching or pharmacological penalization with atropin as the next therapeutic measure. They concluded that in a case of moderate amblyopia, like our case, two hours of effective patching is as effective as six hours. The traditional treatment approaches is focus on targeting the monoocular visual acuity deficit by forcing the amblyopic eye to actively work. However, the new Newer modalities like binocular therapies aim at improving the binocular visual function of the amblyopic individuals. Binocular uh, therapies work on stimulating the persistent binocular neural circuits and thereby awaken the amblyopic eye. Two types of binocular therapies have been researched about perceptual learning and dicoptic training. Percep perceptual learning, introduced by Madam Eleanor Gibson in 1963, where the patient sits in front of the skin screen wearing the best optical correction. He's made to do a task over and over again, like vernier acuity, where he's uh, 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 made to find the misalignment between two lines and Gaber swatches, where he's made to see the sine wave grating, gratings again and again. The uh, increased, the boredom associated with repetition of a perceptual task over many hours and time required for treatment are the two major drawbacks associated with perceptual learning. Now, unlike perceptual learning, where a single visual percept is administered to both eyes, uh, si uh, simultaneously, dicoptic training presents independent stimulus to each eye using red-green filter glasses called as anaglyph glasses. So the stimulus which is shown to the amblyopic eye usually has a higher contrast than shown to the non-amblyopic fellow eye. As the patient's developing binocular function improves, the contrast difference between the two eyes reduces potentially to a point when there is no contrast difference required. There were two games which were designed on this concept, which gained a lot of popularity. First is the falling block game. It is played wearing anaglyph glasses on an iPod touch device. The amblyopic eye with the red filter on will see the red block falling at 100% contrast. And the sound eye with the blue filter will see the blue elements at a lower contrast which is gradually increased to equate the difference between the two eyes. A pedic study found falling blast to be as effective as patching in children 5 to 12 years of age with uh, amblyopia. But less than one-fourth of the children in the pedic study completed 75% of the prescribed treatment. So it was introduced superior to patching due to better compliance, but the results were quite opposite. This led to the invention of another game named as Digrush, which is more engaging and has a potential reward reinforcement associated with it. Same, uh, based on the same dicoptic principle, reduced contrast elements are seen by the fellow eye, high contrast elements like monsters are seen by the amblyopic eye, and patient has to combine the elements from both the eyes to get a synchronized picture of the game, which helps in improving the overall binocular vision. The same concept has been translated to movies as well, where the patient wears polarized glasses. An irregularly shaped blob is applied on the image seen by the amblyopic eye, Inverse, mark, inverse mask was applied to the images seen by the fellow eye. Patient has to combine both the images to get binocular view of the movie. The last but not the least is a software called as Visual Prime, which we have been using in our setup. Works on the same dicoptic principle. The patient has to wear the anaglyph glasses, and it has been proved as a useful primary intervention in the management of anisometric, anisometropic amblyopia in adults by Arpita et al. So the take home message is that amblyopia may be reversible with appropriate visual stimulation, even in older children and adults. Detection and management of amblyopia should begin as early as possible. And we need to continue our search for newer treatment modalities, which focus on, us, focus on improving the binocular function and compliance. Thank you. Right, Subtikri, sir. Yeah, Dr. Sharan, go ahead. No, no, no problem. Yeah. Dr. Subtikri, is there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here very much. Uh, very nice presentation, Dr. Sajal. Uh, it's you, been an extensive presentation for a short time, but uh, very well done. Uh, just tell me one thing, the present uh, dicoptic management, which is being done for the uh, amblyopic eyes with the anaglyph uh, glasses, the one that we're doing in the hospital, how long is the duration done and uh, what is the effects initially seen? 
sir it has uh, the current therapy what we are following is the pedic protocol we start with the refractive correction and then we go on to patching and we complement the patching and the uh, 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 refractive correction with the dicoptic therapy which we use uh, give it using the software visual prime so what we do is we there are actually many modes in the uh, uh, in visual prime the one mode we use is a mfbf mode that is monocular field monocular field in a binocular monocular fixation in a binocular field so we the patient has to play a game for 30 minutes and he is called again and again after three days or after a week to repeat it and the visual acuity is measured and it can be given there's no uh, specified time for which can, which it can be uh, given so we follow the patient until the visual acuity improves Okay. And what has been the initial uh, response that you have seen before yeah. starting the study? Sir, we, we did a study, in-house study, where we found that in the visual problem has proved to, proved to be effective. And it has proved to be effective in older adults as well. Whereas the contrary, contrary belief was that that amlyopia therapy cannot be given in uh, older adults because the visual plasticity periods last the I think your voice is breaking off. Done after seven years of age, and we have been following this uh, protocol in our hospital as well. Okay, fine. Uh, nothing else from my end. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Sajal, one more question. Yes. Whatever the studies done on the binocular therapy, what are the main yes, dis drawbacks? Drawbacks. Which, uh, what they have. Yeah. On the dicoptic therapy, ma'am. Yeah, the binocular therapy as such. The ma'am, the main drawbacks associated is compliance. See, we introduce yes. dicoptic therapies to as an alternative to patching. Patching was noted to be very less compliant because ultimately what we are dealing here is are with children. It's very difficult to make them wear a patch for longer hours. So we introduce binocular therapies as an alternative. And what we notice is that it is not like to uh, play a game again and again for uh, for an hour or so it, it is very difficult for a child to sit and play that game so that's why uh, compliance so was a major issue. Is a big limit. so compliance was a major issue yes and few other children were also noted to have double vision following the therapy okay, okay. so these were the main drawbacks first yes. what is the need for going into the binocular therapy one as you told it's very difficult to patch the children hmm. is there any other thing they were intending by uh, going towards a binocular therapy um, reverse amblyopia is which is which is actually rare to note but is a very uh, uh, i i say ki it is very very uh, dreaded complication which we want to avoid because we are treating amblyopia so if we patch the eye we are depriving the uh, sound eye with visual deprivation so reverse amblyopia uh, i would say that uh, because we want to avoid complications with uh, the traditional treatment that's why we introduce dicoptic therapies no not only that reverse amblyopia we are not bothered more we are bothered about the stereo acuity so only oh, people yes. have started moving towards the binocular therapy binocular yes yes yeah? yes ma'am yeah it was yes, a nice presentation dr sachin yeah, very nice presentation and nice. great results thank you dr sachin you can stop sharing the screen thank you